Hello, this is John Lundquist of Paladin Academy, and today I'm going to try to explain multiplication of fractions. This is Intermediate Algebra Lesson Unit 2, Worksheet 3. And so I'm going to try to explain how or the reason behind like why one half uh, make this a little thicker why one half times one half is a fourth um, or why why uh, one half of or times three fourths is three eighths is it, uh, at the, on the surface it doesn't uh, you know it doesn't really come across like why is that so let's talk about first of all let's have some little statements about multiplication well multiplication is just adding um, repeatedly so it's, it's the same as repeated addition so three times four is three fours added together four times three is four uh, four threes added together and notice we get the same number and so multiplication is the same is what we call commutative it's it's the order doesn't matter it, it, it the, the factors the numbers are can be switched and you get the same answer and another very interesting thing about multiplication is you can use different words like instead of three times four we can we could say three groups of four because three groups of four would be would be would be this three groups of uh, groups the group is four and I got three of them or if I had one half times four I could this is four I could say one half of a group of four and we're gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get I think that makes it'll make more sense as we go on so um, let's start out with saying let's say four times one half now this according to this rule multiplication rule I'm really saying I'm, I'm adding one half plus one half plus one half plus one half I'm adding four of them four one halves and this one half plus one half is one and this one half plus one half is one and I get two and so you could say four groups of one half you know or um, four one halves added together and you get two now I can switch it and I can say one half times four well this would be one half of a group of four a group of four things four objects or four things or for anything so here's four things four circles I'm gonna take a half of it one half of the four well one half of the four is these two things right here two so um, you could also say four of a group of of groups of one half. It doesn't that doesn't really make too a lot of sense? It's better. It's you know it's not these rules don't exactly you know always apply every time. It's uh, sometimes you have to kind of make them fit. So f this is better to say four halves, four one halves added four one halves added together whereas a half times four is better to say one half of a group of four okay so now um, I'm gonna we're gonna do the rule or how we we do it without this mechanically this the mechanical process so if I take one half times four well what we do this the mechanical arithmetic multiplication way is I, I just put one over a half times
times, and then I take this 4 and I make it a fraction. And when I make a fraction of it, I put it over 1. And that 4 divided by 1, this is a divide by again. So remember, it's an, uh, maybe talk about this, 3 divided by 2. This is the same, uh, this 3 halves, you say it's, this is 3 halves, or you could say it's 3 divided by 2, or you could say it's 3 halves, which gets confusing, but I, this, this, this 3 halves means I have 1 half, whoops, 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half is 3 halves. Or I could say um, 3 divided, this, this, I could say it's divided by 2. This is a divide by. Okay, so um, I'm going to erase that. So then, the, then all you do is you multiply the two top numbers. 1 times 4, and I get 4. 2 times 1, I get 2. And that's, this, is the, this is the method. You multiply the two top numbers, the two bottom numbers. And then you can say, well, you can reduce it. You can, this is 2 divided by, or 4 divided by 2. Or you can say how many 2's are in 4. It's 2, right? Or you could say 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Um, okay. So um, now we're going to go into fractions. So remember, I started out with 1 half times 1 half. So 1 half times 1 half, we do our method. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. And if you want to use words to make it seem like y is one-half times one-half one-fourth, it's really one-half of one-half, or a half of a half. What's a half? Or let's say I, I, I could write it in other words. It's a half. Ugh. What's a half of a half? Well, here's a here's a half up here. There's a half of a whole. This is a half, right? And I'm going to take a half of it. So I want to take half of this half is that. Well, what's that? Well, that is a fourth. Half of a half is a fourth. So a half of a half is a fourth. Um, we could we could say. You know, um, uh, what's a half of, you know, uh, you know, what's a half uh, times, um, let's make it a little harder, one half of three-fourths. Okay, what's that? Well, according to our rule, one times three is three, and two times four is eight. So one half of three fourths is three eighths. Well, let's just take a look and see if we can f figure that out. So um, if I erase this, this, uh, if I erase this, and then I fill it with a pink again. So th this is here's three fourths. I'm going to take one half one-half of three-fourths. Well, I have three things, so if I divided this thing in half, if I took this, and I do, if I divide this in half, I could then take this guy and this guy, this, this would be, you know, this is one, and this is, this is half of the the one, the one fourth, and I know that a half of one fourth is an eighth. I mean, this is you know I had eight and one two three four, and I have two here and two here. This is one eighth. So I could say this is um, this is one eighth, and this is a fourth, and this is an eighth and a fourth, right? 
So an eighth and a fourth, and this is an eighth and a fourth would be half. So an eighth plus a fourth, and I, multiply, and I, I want to get this common denominator, so multiply this by, this by 2, I get 1 over 8 plus 2 over 8, and I get 3 eighths. Well, isn't 3 eighths what I said we were supposed to get? So a half of 3 fourths, a half, this is 3 fourths, half of it is 3 eighths. And then, you know, this, uh, I could just draw a line here, and then this would be 1, 2, 3 eighths. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to do some problems and just do a few. Um, few problems just to uh, end it. So let's take um, 3 fourths times 2 and 4 fifths. Okay, so now what do I do? I got a whole number and I got a fraction. And I got it multiplied by a fraction. 3 fourths of, of this 2 and 4 fifths. Well, this two, well, what this is called, this guy right here is called a mixed fraction, a mixed fraction. And we usually don't do a lot of computation with mixed fractions. We usually change them, and we change them into improper fractions. Improper fractions are fractions that have a bigger number on the top than on the bottom. So the way I usually do it, is is you multiply these two numbers and then add so you multiply two times five and you add that that result with a four so I get three fourths times this is ten plus four is fourteen over five now I could just to just to clarify that a little bit this this two could be one plus one plus four fifths. This two and four fifths could be one plus one plus four fifths. And I could get rid of this. I could say, well, one is um, five fifths, right? And this one is five fifths plus four fifths. So this is 10, 14, 14 fifths. So that's in the, that's the long way of doing it. So and then the short way would just be multiplying two times five, add the four, you get fourteen. Now, another thing that you should uh, think about is canceling. Canceling is a nice little trick, so you don't have to reduce it. I mean, I could I could multiply three times four, fourteen, and three times fourteen. 14 times 3 is 12, turn to 1, 42 over 5 times, that's 20. And then I could say, well, I can divide this by 2, and I get 21, and divide this by 2, and I get 10. And then I could say, t this is divide, 21 divided by 10 is, is 2 and a tenth. Now, um, another way you could do it, is cancel. Like I could say, well, this 4 and this 14 have a 2 as a common factor. So if I divide this by 2, I get 2, and I divide this 14 by 2, and I get 7. And then I get 3 times 7, and I get 21, and 2 times 5, and I get 10. So I, instead of reducing after the multiplication, I reduce before the multiplication. And then I get, uh, and either of these answers, 21 over 10, which is the improper fraction, or 2 and a tenth, um, would be the right answer. So that should do it. Good luck.